Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about homocysteine. This may be new to many of you. It is a parameter that you usually get checked when you do your blood reports. And it is extremely, extremely important. When we're only looking at symptoms in the human body and uh, related conditions, we tend to ignore the possible root causes of many other conditions that may develop now or five or ten years down the line in our bodies. That's why we call it preventive medicine. That's why we say when you do your blood reports, each and every parameter can tell you a lot about your current health and it can also give you clues of what you should be doing to get healthier, to get better and to even prevent the onset of heavy conditions. So homocysteine, what exactly is homocysteine? You'll find this in most of your blood tests. Homocysteine is nothing but a protein. It's an amino acid that uh, is produced by the body when the body breaks down protein. Now that's all good and all normal. We need homocysteine in the body. The problem is when the levels go too high. When the levels go too high, this becomes extremely dangerous for your heart because it, could, it creates arterial damage and it creates blood clots. Now in most cases of high homocysteine, we usually don't have to worry because a lot of people have low vitamin B12 levels and low folic acid levels. So if your vitamin B12 and if your folic acid is low, your homocysteine can be high. So then your doctor just gives you B12, they correct a the deficiency, they give you folates or folic acid, and you repeat your test after a month and your homocysteine comes right down. Now it's a problem if your B12 levels are good, if your folic acid levels are good, and you still have high homocysteine. This means that there is high homocysteine in your blood and it is affecting your blood vessels. So then your doctor tells you what you need to do. But number one, it's usually caused by a B12 or folic acid deficiency. What are some of the symptoms that are most common? So if you get your blood reports done today and you have high uh, homocysteine levels correlated with your B12 levels, if your B12 levels are very, very low, that's the reason. You also have normal symptoms like, I mean, abnormal symptoms like pale skin. You would be feeling tired all the time, no matter how well you sleep, how much you rest, you wake up with this fatigue, you feel fatigue throughout the day, extreme weakness. You get a tingling sensation like pins and needles, maybe in your palms or under the soles of your feet, or you get numbness in your sole area, below your feet and in your fingers. These are all signs of that. You could get a lot of mouth sores, canker sores, mouth sores, mouth ulcers. You would have a lot of mood fluctuations and mood changes. You can have growths in your tongue or swelling in your tongue as well. And in many cases, it causes an irregular heartbeat. You, you get these palpitations, but everything's fine. Your blood pressure's fine, but you get this irregular heartbeat or palpitations. Sometimes you could feel dizzy or confused, like mental brain fog. That's called confusion, mental confusion, and you don't know what's happening. All of these things are symptoms that your B12 levels, your B vitamins, and your folic acid may be low, and that's why you have a high homocysteine level. But now, if that's not the case, and one reason why you need to take care of these deficiencies so that your homocysteine comes down, because if it doesn't come down, it is creating, like I said, damage to your arteries damage to your blood vessels. Clots are dangerous for us. When you have a clot in your blood, it's called a thrombus. Now this thrombus can travel up your bloodstream and it can actually form something called a pulmonary embolism in your lung, which, is, which can be highly fatal and highly dangerous. Or that blood clot travels up to your brain and you can have a brain stroke or to your heart and you have a heart attack, which is why homocysteine levels must be regulated and if your levels are high you want to see a doctor immediately so he can either balance out your vitamins if it's a deficiency or he can tell you what treatment you need to take so we need to understand the importance of that now when it comes to folic acid and b12 and b6 the reason why i'm talking about homocysteine today today because it also gives you other clues if you're low on b12 okay just don't go on popping popping supplements and you still have low b12 it's giving you another clue that you have an issue with your gut so then if you correlate it with symptoms of acidity, bloating, constipation, you know, because B12 gets synthesized in your gut. We have an intrinsic factor. If we don't have the intrinsic factor, we cannot synthesize vitamin B12. And no matter how many B12 supplements you pop, you will always have low levels. So that gives us a clue to fix your gut health, to look after your gut health. Now, there could be other reasons why you have high homocysteine. Let's say your B12, your folic acid is all in place. When you have low levels of your thyroid hormone, you can have high homocysteine levels, which is why your doctor will correlate it with your thyroid hormone and your blood reports as well. If you have kidney disease 
In some cases of CKD, which is chronic kidney disease, your homocysteine levels can be high, so your doctor will make that correlation. If you have psoriasis, which is a skin issue, which again can be caused by an autoimmune condition, gut issue, uh, overactive immune system that is attacking your own skin, you can have high homocysteine levels, and certain medications, which is why I always ask your doctor the possible side effects of the medication that you take. So again, it comes down to your diet, how well you look after your gut, are you getting the right vitamins from your food? If you're not getting it from your food, has your doctor supplemented you the right way? It comes down to your exercise, the way you sleep, all of these things, it comes down to lifestyle. So do not ignore your B12 levels. Please, today, low levels of B12 and high levels of homocysteine are also connected with patients who have, or who have developed Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, and all memory issues. So you need to understand, one deficiency in the human body can lead to several problems, and that's why I appreciate a symptomatic approach, but you have to go to the root cause at some point. You have to address the root cause of the problem. If you are interested in prevention of future conditions and future diseases caused by one deficiency or one level that is chronically high. So you may want to get your homocysteine levels checked if you have any of these symptoms. It's nothing to worry about, usually in most cases by correcting your B12 and your folic acid and your B vitamins, which is a simple vitamin and no medication your homocysteine levels automatically come down. If not, your doctors will tell you what to do. There is medicine, and then there are lifestyle changes. You can do both the safe way until your levels come down. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.